Good morning and welcome to my Wednesday, October 17th, 2012. I have the appointment with a specialist today, but right now I want to show you the sky. It's beautiful. A little bit early this, no, a little bit earlier this morning than I have on my other work days, but here you go. Enjoy. Cornfield, sun, clouds, apple trees. Beautiful, huh? <clears throat> so yeah, I shall see you later. Bye. Hey guys, how are you? It is uh, lunchtime, technically. If you hear quacking, it's because I'm at the park uh, taking a little break before I go back to work. Oh, hey little squirrel. Oh my gosh, seriously. I thought maybe he was like right there at the side of the car. And he could be, but anyway. Um... I just got done at my doctor's appointment with the specialist, and I have some things to think about. But first, I have to get a um, endometrial biopsy done, and that will be on November 7th. It's a Wednesday. Um, I am glad I didn't have to have anything done today. She just explained um, my options and explained further explained what um, was going on with me. Um, so I have what's called adenomyosis, which is, um, I guess it's similar or related to endometriosis, but where endometriosis happens outside the uterine walls, um, adenomyosis is within the walls of the uterus. So, um, the options she's giving me to consider are the Marina IUD um, Novasure ablation or of course there's a hysterectomy so right now I'm looking at the ablation because I really am not interested in having uh, an IUD inserted and of course um, the biopsy will probably um, tell more and kind of help determine which way is the best to go that will um, that we'll see if there's any um, like cancerous or precancerous cells growing or, or anything like that. So, but right now things are okay, and uh, being a woman kind of is such a. Bleh. But I was reading about the Novisher procedure or the heavy bleeding, and you know, all this stuff, you know, that can be a result of heavy bleeding, um, yeah, emotional, 77% have depression or moodiness, really, really, yeah, that's where I'm at, anyway, I'm gonna go for now, and I will see you later, see ya, bye. hey guys, I forgot to mention something, I got a really nice thank you card today when I got to work, handmade, isn't it cute, this is the kind of stuff that I used to do, um, that I need to start doing again because I got all kinds of stuff for it But it was it was so nice to uh, get this card in it uh, says Let me just tell you what it says Just a quick note to say thank you for helping us get things updated and linked for us girls. You are the best ever <laughs> And then um, one of the other girls put in here so nice to meet you. Thank you for your help. P.S. You know your name is in our Rolodex now, right? Rolodex. I thought that was cute. So that was really nice. Nice and bright and cheery looking. Yes. Okay. So that is all. Now I'm going to go back to work. Peace. Lentil soup. It's what's for dinner. Mmm. Hey everyone, how are you? It is nighttime now. <laughs> Actually, I just got back from the store. Kara um, had that band thing tonight, and it was raining, so we didn't go, and we didn't even know if they were going to end up performing, but apparently they did at like 8.45, and then their plan was just to leave right from there instead of staying and watching the awards. Well, while, while they were there, like 9.20 or something, um, I haven't got a phone call while I was at the store, and, um, Kara is sick, 
which is kind of a drag. I hope it's nothing that lasts too long because this is her final week of band stuff, well, marching band stuff. So I really hope it's nothing horrible. And but I got a, I got some Canada Dry, um, and uh, a thermometer because I didn't know if we had one. Um, so anyways, I hope she feels better soon. It's no fun being sick. But she was like vomiting and stuff, I guess. So anyway, um, I have counseling tomorrow and I am not, I just, can I just say you guys that I am completely in one of those moods, I guess. I don't know. I'm completely frustrated and annoyed with my emotional roller coaster, my roller coaster of hormones, my roller coaster of depression, my whatever. I, I, I'm completely annoyed. And why? I guess because um, I started thinking about stuff again today, and I gotta stop doing that. Seriously, that's when I get into trouble, is when I start thinking. And then I. Ugh. Anyway, um, work has been going okay, okay, all right, I mean, I've been going a couple days a week, and three days this week, I'll go back Friday, and so far, so good, I guess, um, but, <sighs> talking to Kaylee this morning about schooling, and talking to Kara the other night after conferences about college and whatnot, really made me think about the student loans that I currently have that I was not able to pay for still. I try, I mean, so much money that I have nothing to show for. Nothing. Nothing. I, I never finished and I can't afford to pay the loans and for some unknown godly reason I feel like I'm, like, too old. <laughs> oh, this sucks. And recently, I've been having some... <sighs> anyway, here we go. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm, like, freaking ADD or something. Not ADD, but just... I apologize for that statement. I am just... I'm just frustrated. I just hate how I feel at times about stuff. I hate... You know, when I get to thinking about all that and, you know, I feel bad for the loans that I still have out. I feel bad because we've got other bills that can't be paid and that can't be paid. And my God, how long is it going to take to pay that bill? And so then, you know, I start talking about it and then I make my, make my husband feel like crap. Not purposely of course but he just starts to feel like crap because I can't do what I want to do and whatever so I didn't bring it up to make him feel bad but anyway so counseling tomorrow I didn't do any of this stuff once again this is the book she gave me I just I just ugh. from resentment to forgiveness I have such a hard time with this. I I do. I I do because I guess I was working on the forgiveness of my dad even before he died. So I think I'm I feel like I'm getting better with that. And I feel like I don't even want to look at this and work through any more worksheets and I just want to be better. I want to feel like I'm credible to my kids and to other people. <laughs> you know, I because Kara saw that attack I had. I feel like she will not have any faith in me at all <sighs> for any advice I might try to give or anything and that just kills me and so you know today 
after I left the doctors, I was thinking too, and it's like, goodness sakes, you know, when they offered this, this marina thing, an IUD, really? It's like, um, n no, not really interested in that, because I, I don't, I, uh, I don't know. I'm actually interested, more interested in the Novisher, the ablation, I think it's called, where they go in and, you know, sorry for the images, guys, but basically obliviate that stuff. Anyway, I don't know. I'm all over the board again, but I just, I get so annoyed with how I feel. But, um, I guess the heavy bleeding, too that I've been dealing with over, I mean, like a good year now, also contributes to my mood swings, my depression at times, my desire to not be at work, to not be in public, to, you know. Um, and not only that, going on to another note, which, I mean, it kind of ha it has to do with me and my health and whatnot, my well-being or whatever. But I haven't talked much about, you know, the whole weight loss thing. And honestly, I don't have a number in mind. I don't have a weight in my side. Nothing. I just want to be healthy, okay? And lately, um, not for a long time, but um, like last night it happened, I, um, I had that acid reflux or whatever into my throat and oh, it was disgusting and uh, I haven't had that in a long long time and I'm like okay I kind of am looking at it as a little signal here um, because quite frankly my diet has not been perfect as you know I've been drinking those energy drinks once in a great while um, not only that, I'm going to try to show you guys something, and I don't know how much you're going to see of it, but, you know, do you remember me showing you this big-ass bruise that I had on my leg um, a while back, my lower calf? I don't know. It was a while back. It was after I did that fitness dance class, the fitness, dance fitness, kind of like uh, Zumba, but it was called work. Um, W-E-R-Q. <laughs> anyway, um, remember, I, I don't know if I had kicked myself or what, but I had this big, ugly, gross-looking bruise. And now, I mean, the bruise has been gone a while, but now, just uh, last night, the night before, I noticed, um, it must have been Monday night because it was after I worked. And I went to put my pajamas on and whatnot. And I noticed this odd feeling in my leg, this pain almost. I'm like, there's no bruise. Hold on. But it's red. Can, can you kind of see the redness? And it's like a little bump. And it kind of feels like a bruise would feel, but it's, it's a bump. So... Long video again. Apologize for that. Anyway, um, so of course, with everything that my mom went through and both my parents having blood clots in their legs and my Aunt Jan, which is my dad's sister, paranoia starts to set in because I'm like, oh my God, is it a blood clot? I don't know. I've never had one. You know, do my legs feel any different? Do I have a fever? No, I don't have a fever. I don't, you know, my legs and feet don't feel any different. They still feel like they hurt. I mean, my legs don't necessarily hurt, except for in that one spot. Um, but my feet feel the same as in they hurt all the time. Um, kind of like an odd feeling, but I've talked to the doctor about this before. So, I don't know what that is, but I am keeping an eye on it. And it hasn't, it doesn't look as red as it did a couple nights ago. Um, but last night I elevated my feet, and I'll tell you what, I'm doing the massaging again. And anyway, it's, it's, 
it's obviously got me thinking once again about my health. Um, and I just, God, I want to, I want to be better. I want to um, get back into some sort of, you know, healthiness. And so I need to make a good effort of eating better, cutting back again on the carbonation stuff because I think that's what might be a contributing to the acid reflux and I really don't need that to turn into anything horribly worse. Um, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> I can still smile though and I don't have to work tomorrow um, and we'll just see what day brings. My appointment's at 10 so I, 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 I'm not even is it terrible that I'm not even interested in looking at this stuff right now? I, I don't know why, but I'm just not. I And I probably won't. I will probably go watch YouTube videos and, um, yeah, comment and smile and Alright guys, thanks for listening. It was another long video. I wasn't intending it to be, but it turned out that way. So, um... You guys have a great night, day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Enjoy your day and keep smiling. Smile! You are someone's reason to smile, so smile. Okay, peace, love, smiles, kisses. Bye.